Welcome to our podcast, Implementation Intentions. Hi, I'm Tony Kubica with Kubica La Forest Consulting's BizSense, media to grow the business mind. This podcast describes why it's so hard to get things implemented in organizations. We all know the old stories about the best laid plans and the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Nothing new, cute stories, spoken often, and unfortunately in business, practiced more than it should be. Which of course gets us to wonder why. Why do strategies go unimplemented or partially implemented? Why do we spend days in strategic planning sessions, not to mention both the direct and opportunity costs associated with having these meetings? Ideas that initially come to mind are, we don't have enough time, resources, or people to do what we outlined in the strategic plan. So the question comes up, if we don't have enough time, resources, or people, then why didn't we know that at the meeting? Why did we leave with a plan we knew we couldn't implement? In reading Tony Schwartz's New York Times bestselling book, Be Excellent at Anything, research shows there may be another reason. And that reason is the difficulty in changing our behavior. Each of us has a business operating behavior. For some, it's meeting with staff, answering emails, making calls, managing the crises that develop on almost a daily basis. This represents a habit of how we do our work. We all have it. You may find it interesting in seeing what your habit is. So what does a strategic plan do? It says we are going to do something else. We're going to do something differently. Or we're going to focus in a new direction. Perhaps we'll visit more clients. Or we'll work on a new branding initiative. Perhaps for a small business, something as simple as updating the website. But whatever it is, it's not something we do on a daily basis now. So what are we really being asked to do? We're being asked to, one, reset our focus and priorities, that is, focus on doing something different. Two, stop or unlearn our old habits and our old ways of doing things. And three, learn and adopt new habits, tasks, and a new way of doing things. This is actually very hard for humans to do. If you're uncertain and not quite sure we're on the mark, think about how many times you set a priority to lose weight or eat better or to exercise or to get more sleep or to save money. Every item we listed above is good for you, good for your health and good for your economic future. And it's indisputable. But how successful are you at it? Not very, if you believe the statistics. And one reason Schwartz explains is because our plans lack precision and specificity. That is, we have an idea of what we should be doing, but in the absence of knowing precisely what we're going to do, knowing specifically how we're going to do it, and knowing when we're going to do it, our chance of actually doing it is very slim. So as you think about what it's going to take to grow your business, think about what you'll have to give up and define with both precision and specificity what you must do now and consistently from this point forward. Nope, it's not easy. And we end with the same kind of story we started with. If it were easy, everyone would be doing it. For more information on key issues and topics on business growth, leadership, branding, and culture, visit our blog, www.yourbusinessgyroscope.com, and our free articles, white papers, videos, and podcasts at our website, www.cubicalaforestconsulting.com. Thanks for joining us. BizSense, media that grows the business mind.